Hi guys, welcome. There is a GNOME update and I was smart enough to update in my virtual box and look at that, it's all frozen. So GNOME has been updated, I reboot and my virtual box does not respond in any way. So the only thing we can do in a virtual box is Ctrl F and actually stop everything and with uh, no, no, no responding either. So double click here and I and then stay power up. But what we can do as well is try to, to P in control. You see nothing can be clicked here. And in VirtualBox, and um, key combination is different, but we can always go to TTY. So Control Alt F1, F2, F3, and so on. In VirtualBox, it's Control F2. So let's try, let's be in VirtualBox and see if I can go to Control F1, F2, F3, or my re. That's screw. That is not gonna work. Control F. I don't think I'm in virtual box at this point in time. It doesn't know I'm in there. So control F. Ah, now he knows. Now I'm in there, right? Let's leave it like this. So I log in. I know my system is up to date. That's one of the things. All the packages need to come in. You can also decide to change the middle list. So let's have a look. I'm downloading from Osbeck now. You could argue maybe there's a package not in there that's not on Osbeck but it's on EvilWise at this point in time. Might be, right? And I'm missing an update which holds everything well, which freezes everything. So I'm updating again. But now from this server, the packages come in. Whoa, that's all that. I don't know what happened here. So look, the difference already between one server and the other server. That's the only thing we did, right? But it's all about numbers. There's 40, you see? 40, mother and so on. Gnome weather, 40. And session, 40. It's all numbers. And it says your Gnome session local is 40, is newer than extra 3.38. So at this point in time, all the servers around the world are syncing. Uh, one six things faster than the other one, right? So maybe um, Rackspace or and so on and so on might be a better choice, but we don't know because hey, it's not in our uh, well, it's not from us basically. So we don't control these servers. So up all, we don't see any messages here. No, we don't now. Is this solved? No, it's not solved. I haven't done anything. I've just changed mirrors another, and the databases have been changed, but nothing has been updated or installed. Okay, now I am the guy that says I want to auto login always, and that's the problem. I want to auto login, but I auto login is probably in something wrong. Then um, GNOME specifically has four ways of booting in and it just happens I just made a comment on that on the forum and here it is right you have four ways of logging in and if you choose the wrong one you get stuck also so who is responsible to log in that's SDDM where is this file that is an SDDM right nano SDDM and it says here how to log in user eric session gnome so this might be a complete wrong thing so without knowing the name i can look out for the look look up uh, the name but i'm gonna delete the user so i actually well boot into sdm and he asks me what session do you like so eric is no longer out to login that's probably gonna be the issue so you need to know your your stuff when getting stuck so we reboot and we hope for the best. This is of course a virtual machine, I couldn't care less. But if this is your real machine, hmm, right? So I'm not out of login and it says Gnome Wayland. Oh my God, right? Gnome Wayland. Click Gnome on XORG and log in. right i can click oh my god i can click quit i can click 
F12. Uh -huh. I have all kind of buttons that work. This is a bit strange. This wasn't like this before, right? <laughs> so now I can favor, or savor is better word. I can savor Gnome 4. Now, I guess there is somewhere, um, I guess in settings, we'll find the number at the bottom. Let's have a look if settings has changed or does not load. Settings. Ah, there it is. It just takes a little bit of time. Still looks more or less the same. About, here he is, AR 4.0. 40.0.0 oh, oh, is 11 windowing, right? And software updates, fine. The rest, I think, gonna be probably more or less the same. You can change the background, boom. Yo, to right, you can go for this one. Still early in the morning. Search applications. Let's ah, open the software. Mm -hmm. What is this? Keyboard shortcuts, fine. Privacy. Online account sharing, sound power displays, maybe. Yep. Mouse and touchpads, always fun, but not if you're not on a laptop, then there's less to see. Uh, sorry, if you're on a laptop, you see more. Not on a computer system, which obviously I'm working on. Voila. Remove user. Can we edit thing? Yeah, we can edit this. Unlock to add users and change settings. Okay. What some of um, the desktops forget to do is actually make the possibility to add your wife, your children to your computer. So add user is here included. It's also included in Plasma. But if you're in Tiling Window Manager, it's not included. I have to figure it out. And of course, it's all explained on Acolyte's website. Okay, voila, fixed it. I'm gonna shut down and um, do something else. Basically, guys, TTY, do your stuff there. NSDDM was the clue or the tip. Um, let's see if Control T, yeah, we're still working. NSDM is for us a alias, N stands for nano, and then the file name. So user Eric is no longer. Oh yeah, how to log in. Mm. Well, you go to the file system and then user share X sessions. This is what you can do, GNOME, GNOME Classic, GNOME X org. So I guess if I want to change this, I need to type here X org. And I don't think, oh, what's this? Why is it blue? Anyway, up saving. Checking again, okay. One X too much. Save and go back. Gnome X org, no typos. And then tell, hey, it's me. And then see the reboot. And then it finished. If we're out logging, then the video is finished. So boot existing OS, go my friend, logging. And we can enjoy the 4.0. Well, 40.00. <laughs> and soon they will release a 40.0.1. Look at the way we're greeted. That's a strange way to greet us. But hey. Fine. Escape. Quit. Yep, that's true. F12 is there. Super key is there. So the super keys is actually active when we boot in. Fine. All right, guys, have fun with GNOME.